Welcome to M&A Grocery Games. The second largest supermarket chain in America, Kroger, has officially offered to buy Albertsons in a deal worth $24.6 billion. Kroger is going to acquire its smaller rival for $34.10 a share. Right now, you do have Albertsons at $26.38. Ah, investors don't like this deal. Albertsons is down about 7.8%. Uh, about $4.7 billion of Albertsons debt. That's a 33% premium to Albertsons closing price Wednesday. Now, together, the two will employ more than 700,000 people across 5,000 stores. Joining me now with what this means for the grocery industry, which has become so wildly competitive, is Strategic Research Group Managing Director Bert Flickinger. Flicker, Flickinger. I know this because I've known you for a million years. Right. Who owns both shares of Albertsons and Kroger's, correct? So what yes. do you make of this deal? You like it? Because the market doesn't. Liz, the market doesn't like it because the Federal Trade Commission's been uh, overly officious and, and tough on the uh, stop and shop King Cullen acquisition. And it wasn't the acquisition. It was just they chose the wrong experts that made the erroneous assumptions, erroneous conclusions. And prior to that, this Staples Office Max merger. And the Federal Trade Commission, Liz, really needs to look at this like Costco's acquisition of Bob and Sal Price's Price Club uh, decades ago, and they need to look at it as Ben Camerata's uh, combination of Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And we've, we've worked with all these companies, and it's critical for middle-class living because nobody does more to lower prices for consumers and raise the standard of living uh, for both shoppers and workers uh, than the Kroger Company and Albertsons, respectively, and uh, to compete against Walmart, Costco, Amazon, et cetera. It's essential this deal goes through, and it's essential mm. they hire the right experts with the right skills. That's what I wanted to know. Who should be most nervous about this? I, I mean, I think about Walmart, for example, because if you put Kroger and Albertsons together and the brands behind both of these names, they could really do some price cutting, could they not? They could do tremendous price cutting, to your important point, Liz. And at the same time, they have more negotiating leverage. Uh, we're working on the second copy of our book, The Explosive Growth of Private Label Brands in North America, with Kroger, Albertsons, and all the leading retailers in the U.S. and Canada. So to get the private label share to where it is, Ireland, England, Scotland, Canada, uh, New Zealand, and Australia, which is 50 to 60 percent. In the U.S., it's 25 percent. And what's doubly important about that, Liz, is that the uh, national brand suppliers, like my alma mater, uh, Procter & Gamble, and others, have been, uh, in my professional view, discriminating against supermarket shoppers and supermarket retailers uh, by not passing along the price and promotional allowances during and after COVID uh, the way they do the wholesale clubs and the super center operators. So it's important to give Kroger and Albertsons the leverage and the small retailers through National Grocers Association need the similar leverage. Uh, and that's what the FTC should be looking at rather than blocking this merger, which is what the stock market's anticipating with both companies, Kroger and Albertsons okay. down over 7% today, as you said. Bert, we got retail sales today. We're going into the holiday season. Is there any name out there that you think is best positioned to endure what appears to be a, an understandable slowdown? I get it. Uh, you know, I, I, I understand that. And that's what the Fed would like to see, people stopping the spending so that we could see some prices come down. But any names out there that you think are can really endure this? Liz, the best is BJ's Wholesale, and since you and I recommended it two and a half years ago, the stocks doubled, uh, but they just got approval to use uh, EBT, or Electronic Benefit Transfer or Food Stamps, for online sales. Uh, their gas prices tend to be the lowest, so they save people uh, money on gas and groceries. The membership fee pays for itself in less than a month, and you've got great uh, spiritual and societal uh, and environmental leadership at BJ's uh, with Chris Baldwin, uh, Bob Eddy, uh, David Pico and team. And uh, also, as, as uh, the economy picks up next year, Hal Lawton's great team at Tractor Supply is a winner, too. Uh, BJ's up 24 percent over the past 52 weeks. Uh, Bert, it's so lovely to see you. And I, I want to take this moment to thank you, Bert, because from day one of Fox Business 15 years ago, yeah. 
You have been there. You have come on our air. You have educated our viewers about all things retail, and we don't forget our friends. Thank well, you. Well, uh, Liz, great to be part of your fantastic team here. <laughs> Anytime. Bert Flickinger, thank you very much.